Good morning. I want to welcome all our Messiah members, friends, and neighbors uh, to this devotion for Monday, uh, the 12th of October. We continue our walk through the Psalms, and today we are going to be hearing Psalm 3. I want to read it for you uh, from the NRSV and then make uh, a few reflections and then uh, close with a word of prayer. So welcome to Monday. Welcome to the new week. Psalm 3. O Lord, how many are my foes, how many are rising against me. Many are saying to me, there is no help for you in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep. I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Rise up, O Lord, deliver me, O my God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. May your blessings be on your people. And I have to say that here as I'm sitting in my basement uh, reflecting on Psalm 3 and doing this video devotion, how much uh, reading this and reflecting on it has sort of broken open my heart. I've been uh, feeling, maybe like a lot of us, uh, a little uh, pushed down or weighed down by you know, everything that's going on around us. And it's like, when is there relief? When is there going to be a fresh uh, breath of fresh air? And how are we going to be able to move forward into the future? It just seems like we're kind of stuck in this murky mug, mud right now. Um, but Psalm 3 just sort of broke all that open for me. And, and I... I really laughed. I chuckled right away when uh, I read it the first time and experienced <laughs> that imagery of God sort of being like a boxer about striking the enemies on the cheek and breaking the teeth of the wicked. I was imagining two two combatants in a boxing ring kind of going after each other, uh, the wicked and God sort of battling it out. And um, But that really is where Psalm 3 sort of begins. It, it talks about foes rising up against me. Um, and it's not just that they sort of rise up and come after me or or sort of try to do me ill, whether that's physically, but they get at me spiritually. Uh, many are rising against me. Many are saying to me, there's no help from you for you and God. I, I think that's an important Thing to recognize that a lot of times whether those things that are against us or are rising up uh, to try to defeat us don't do so just physically or uh, emotionally or economically um, that there are foes out there that really want us to end up in despair there is no help for me for you in God that's a place of despair and our foes are crafty, and they try to drag us into that place, a place that benefits neither us, our family, our friends, or our community. In the midst of that effort by the enemy, the foe, to drag us into despair, the psalmist sees the Lord as a shield. My glory, the one who lifts up my head, one to whom we can cry out and who answers us from the holy hill. It's a 24-7 kind of activity on God's part. I lay down and sleep. I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. It's this constant, present, never-ending uh, work of God in our lives, filling us with love, grace, peace, and truth, a shield around us uh, that the enemy cannot defeat. And there's always times when we need to cry out, when we need to say, God, rise up, deliver me, and then be like that boxer in the ring and go after the foe who is um, after me. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. May your blessings be upon your people. Psalm 3 is exactly what 
I have needed this morning as I prepared this devotion. And maybe you also uh, need it in your life today. There are so many, as we have talked about over these last weeks, so many um, things that are against us, it seems like. And there is a lot of reasons that we might be feeling down, uh, might be feeling sort of out of sync or disconnected. It's hard not to worship together. It's difficult worrying about what's going to happen as we go through this election. Many of us are worrying about our own jobs or those of our family or friends. And there are of course the continuing issues that we struggle with in our nation around uh, racial justice. These things are not going to go away anytime soon. Like the pandemic, um, an easy cure is not real, it's not reality. These things need to be worked on over time. And it does seem at times like the foe is winning. But take heart, the foe is not. Whatever that foe is for you today, as you wake up and go about your business and, and try to spread some light and grace and love in this world, know that even though the foe seems like they are winning, they are not. That around us is the protective shield of the Lord, the one whom we can call upon to, to box with our enemy, uh, the one who um, answers all our cries. So I ask and pray this day that as we go forth, we do so with good courage and good cheer and a sense of hope that we really are not stuck in the mud. We're not mired down. And even though in this time of pandemic, our behaviors have had to change, we really are being prepared. Take this to heart. We are being prepared for something new. We are being made ready by God to be a people that are going to embrace a wonderful future. That's who we are. Let us pray. Lord God, we give you thanks that you rise up and are our shield to protect us from anyone, any enemy that might want to drag us down uh, into despair. Fill our hearts by the power of your spirit with love, grace, peace, and truth that we might share it this day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all for being part of the devotion. Um, really love having you again be a part of it. Look for another new devotion by our church musicians on Wednesday. And then oh, we have another staff member. Savannah has uh, Friday's devotion. So look forward to three devotions this week. God bless you. Love you all. Take care. Be well. And I'll see you again soon. Bye now.